All right, corset released. Pretty excited. Year of the Wolf. Oh, Year of the Wolf. Damn. This reminds me of that Puss in Boots movie, dude. That's exciting. It's almost time that again, when the big Hearthstone clock in the sky counts down to a new Hearthstone year, the Year of the Wolf. Uh, before we sink our teeth into the Year of the Wolf. Okay, guys, let's take a look back at the Year of the Hydra. The Year of the Hydra has been amazing. Year of Hearthstone. It was a good year. You guys did a good job this year. Uh, a lot of weird stats. If you care, you can read. Here's the roadmap. All right, let's see if we can see anything interesting in this. Um, what do we got here? Okay. Um, card sets, tavern brawls, balance updates, in-game events, spell locked. So they're hiding something from us again, chat. There's a wild update. That's exciting. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's exciting. It's exciting. Throughout the year, the Wolf will be focusing on our efforts of making Hearthstone and Battlegrounds the best they can be with more cards and more Battlegrounds updates than ever before. We even have a few surprises planned for later in the year, including a wild focused update and a fun new way to play with older cards. Oh, <gasps> that's so exciting. I love that. Let's go. All right, corset updates. Um, I guess we're gonna watch this show. We'll screen this maybe. Another exciting year of Hearthstone is right around the corner. My name is Cora, and today I'll be sharing some highlights from our toy. Okay. 2023 corset update. The new corset goes live with the rotation of the Tavern Zodiac, where we'll say farewell to the year of the Hydra and begin the year of the wolf. Oh, Two key levels. things happen at this time that significantly change the Hearthstone standard meta. First, the pool of eligible card sets for standard will shrink, moving Forged in the Barrens, United in Stormwind, and Fractured in Alterac Valley from the year. Can I just get a moment and just say, fuck these expansions? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Griffin, out of standard and into wild. After rotation, standard will include Voyage to the Sunken City, Murder at Castle Nathria, March of the Lich King, Festival of Legends, and the updated corset. The corset will remain the free baseline collection of cards that helps define class identities and synergies for the year. Before we dive into this Our year's corset up. updates, here's a quick look at some other 2023 plans. Battlegrounds has a full lineup of great content this year, including three seasonal updates with at least one major new system update, similar oh. in scale to Buddies, a Thank new you. record for BG content. Eureka! So this is the benefit of them stopping with mercenaries uh, completely, is that they could focus more on existing popular game modes. Season right? three kicked off featuring Putricide's dual minion mashup and the undead as a new minion type. We also have an exciting shakeup for the wild format planned for later this year, which includes new and updated cards, along with other fun surprises to breathe new life into memorable cards from Hearthstone history. 2023 Dog. is a content packed year for both standard and battlegrounds. Expect to see frequent balance updates, more special in-game events with great rewards, and regular feature improvements, like a better way to open a lot of packs coming soon. Oh. Now let's jump in and Love tour that. the new core set for the year of the wolf. Okay, I can't wait. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm if Shadow Steps in the core set, guys, I'm done with Hearthstone. All right, you just have to get ready. I, if, if I see it when in here, building out core sets, we like to start with large scale items like keywords. And this year, we're excited to add magnetic to the mix. We've also heard a lot of wonderful feedback for tradable, a keyword from the year Great of keyword. the Griffin. So it's being officially instated as an evergreen keyword you can expect to see for many years to come. Awesome. We're also bringing back some fan favorite legendary minions like Dr. Boom, Ragnaros the Fire Lord, and the Black. All right, let's be real here, bro. This card's not seeing play. <laughs> what, what are they doing with this? Maybe this card. Um, Black Knight of four mana is kind of cool. Knight, okay. Which you may notice looks a little bit different. It some does. other notable neutral ads include Tour Guide, Cult Neophyte, Glacial Shard, and Dirty Rat. Yes! the rat let's go i'm not excited for this card to be back in the game but dirty rat pretty pog tour guide also pretty pog glitcher shards fine too good card these additions mean we have to say goodbye to some others so brand bronze beard sir finley mergleton reno jackson and elise star seeker will be heading off on some explorers league business for the bye, foreseeable brand. future bye brand Next, let's dig into highlights for each class priest is a class that was built around the core identity of healing but healing tends to be weaker than other class identities, like dealing damage, drawing cards, or even gaining armor. Changing this identity didn't make sense thematically, so instead, we chose to make healing more rewarding in situations where your minions are at full health with our new keyword, Overheal. Overheal is similar in scope to other class-specific keywords like combo or overload, 
and we'll continue to print overheal cards in future sets cool. and expand on it as a keyword going okay. forward. I'll, I'll give it to Hearthstone. Like that's actually been one of the core problems with Hearthstone over the years is that Priest has always been this weird class of healing is just never good enough. So the overheal mechanic is really well done. In addition to overheal, we've made a number of balance changes to Priest cards like Draken and Operative, Psychic Conjurer, and Holy Nova, including attack, health, mana cost, and text box changes. We're also bringing What's back that last the freedom Okay, hold on a second. Draconide Operative being four mana, four or five is really good. Uh, this card's fine. It's a one, two now instead of a one, one. Holy Nova's buffed back to what it used to be. It's probably, no, it's 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 four mana, but it has all enemies still. Wait, what's, I don't remember what it is. It hits face again now, right? Cause I know right now it uh, it doesn't. Patricia Marta is fine. She's fine. Marte with some small changes to reinforce undead as a minion type specific to priest. Sure. Cards like Radiant Elemental, Northshire Cleric, and Lyra the Sun Shard will be rotating out of the Priest core set to make room for cards like Crimson Clergy, Shadow Ascendant, and the new and improved Mana Geode. Dear God, this is going to be a chat. <laughs> Spooky boy right here. Spooky Pinecone boy. All right. Everything else because is fine. Because Death Knight just got their core set, we're going to wait to make adjustments, but we do look forward to expanding on their rune identities throughout the year. Demon Hunter had a really strong showing last year, but it is losing powerful pieces in the standard rotation. So to compensate, we've made adjustments to a few of their existing core set cards, and we've removed some underutilized pieces like Corvus Bloodthorn and Sightless Watcher. No, in not favor Corvus. Of Immolation Aura, Illidari Studies, and Kane Sun. Hey, no, not that card. Any other card's fine. I hate this fucking card. All right, Kane's back too. In the Druid core set, we've made some changes to Icon. Huh? Drew to the claw six mana four six seven six or four nine taunt damn ancient allure still garbage don't play that card why would they do this just make it five five and i think it'd be playable sold the forest at three okay. iconic druid cards to make them a bit this card's not seeing play mounted raptor earthen scales and fandral staghelm will be leaving core in favor of a group of cards originally released in the madness at the dark moon fair expansion solar sure. eclipse lunar eclipse and kiri chosen of Good changes. Of really fun cards. To strengthen the Both hunter's secret pool, Snake Trap will be rotating out of core in favor of Wandering Monster and Cat Trick. Some other okay. hunter highlights Good. include the removal of Cloaked Huntress, Dire Frenzy, and Houndmaster Shaw, and the addition of Jeweled Macaw, Doggy Biscuit, and Dragon Bane. For Mage, we're okay. reinforcing an elemental sub theme with cards like Arcane Artificer and Flame. Chat, I love this card so much. I am so glad they brought it back. Geyser. Oh, let's go. We're also keeping Huge things up deal. a bit with fire spells like Fire Sail and Firelands Portal. Fire Sail Stain, okay, that's good. To make room for these additions, Ethereal Conjurer, Cone of Cold, and Pyromaniac will be rotating out. We good. wanted to identify which of Paladin's core identities was serving them best. So we've reinforced Silver Hand Recruits and Hand Buff with Muster for Battle, Grime Street Outfitter, and Lothraxian the Redeemed. We've also gone through and buffed up classic Paladin cards like True Silver Champion, Consecration, and Hammer of Wrath. Whoa, whoa! Um. And removed the secret Paladin identity for the time being to balance everything out. What the hell? While Paladin is saying goodbye to secrets, Rogue will be receiving some extra support for secrets. Listen here, Blizzard, Cora. Listen, I love you, Cora. The whole development team. If please, just remove Resist it. their cards from murder at Castle Nathria. Cheat death, plagiarize, and ambush will be moving into the core set and sure. helping make rogue secrets feel a bit more secretive. Sure. We're also bringing back some old favorite rogue cards with buffs. Elven Minstrel will be returning with three health, and okay. Fan of Knives will now. Oh, let's go, hand. Fan of Knives! I love that For card. For the Shaman core set, will. She didn't mention it. She didn't mention it. You know what that? All right, guys. Marvel Snap Streamer. Like Rockbiter weapon titles. Actually, see you guys. I'm leaving. I'm done. See you, chat. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Surge and Maelstrom Portal in favor of bringing in additional overload and totem synergy, such as Ancestral Knowledge, Overdraft, Thing from Below, and Grand. All right, gonna be real with you. Excellent core set for Shaman. Excellent core set for Shaman. Warlock will well be done. Receiving some big demon. Okay. Please give Warlock good cards. They have so many bad cards in the core set. It's ridiculous. Please. And All right. Control cards. They like could salvage me. Dread I don't have to be a Marvel Snap streamer. Just save Lord, me. Void caller. Yes. Malganus yes. And Defile. Oh, blistered. All right. Big W. 
Big W. Oh, I muted it. Darkshire Librarian and High Priestess Jekyllith. For the Warrior class, we've removed a number of underutilized cards like Fiery War Axe, Armor Smith, Gore Howl, and Darius Crowley. And fire in their place, we've added some stronger removal and defensive options like Blade Storm, Dynamite, yes. and Armegadillo. Yes. That wraps yes. up our class highlights for the core set. All good. We can't wait to join you for an adventurous year of the wolf. Something we're excited to do throughout the year of the wolf is to be more flexible with our core set in general, whether that means balance changes. Dude. All right, I want everyone to know, I made a video last year talking about how they should be more flexible with the core set. There are too many shitty cards. They need to do more buffs. They need to do more nerfs, more changes. And look what they're doing, chat. It's rotating cards early or introducing new cards during the year to support expansion releases. We want to truly craft the core set to serve our players as Hire the me, year unfolds. With that, be sure to check out the Year of the Wolf I said that. for the full list of changes. I Finally, said that. You we were have there. the Festival of Legends kicking off in just a couple weeks. So get your favorite fan tee and Bix tape ready because it's going to be a banger. You can log in right now to get ETC Band Manager. At All right, cool. Thank you, Cora. Really well done. Fucking shadow steps. Keyword tradable update. Was that basically it? Uh, returning keyword is magnetic. Magnetic is a keyword that appeared. Wait, that means Zilliax is probably in the core set. Do we get to see all the cards? That's what I want to see. Or is it just like a little... Cards entering and leaving the core set. All cards getting adjustments. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. All, right, all right. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this image. Is this all I can zoom in? Are you serious? I can zoom in more. Oh God. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got, chat. All right. So Demon Hunter is leaving Corvas, Sightless Watcher, and Chaos Nova for Kane, Sun Fury, Immolation, or in the Dollar Studies. Demon Hunter gets a pretty big change here. This that's a really big deal. Um. So I can honestly see Demon Hunter being really good. That's great. Druid's losing Mounted Raptor, Earth and Scales. This is a big change. Losing Earth and Scales is a big deal. Fangel, Force of Nature for those four. Which would Apples in the core set? Because they made uh, Treants cost one mana instead of two mana. So that's also another really big deal. Druid got a... Solar Eclipse and Lunar Eclipse are really, really big deal. A really, really big deal. Hunter. Hunter's leading Shaw, Snake Trap, Dire Frenzy, Cloaked Huntress, and Spring Paw for Dragon Bane, Wandering Monster, Catrick, Doggy Biscuit, and Jewel Macaw. Great. Uh, most of the cards here were virtually unplayable in Hunter. So these are all really good, especially these three right here. Dragon Bane and Catrick and Wandering Monster will that probably see play. Mage is losing Caligos, Flame Strike. Wow, Flame Strike gone. Our time without Flame Strike. What the hell? Pyromaniac, Thero Conjuring, Cock for Stargazer Luna, Firelands Portal, Fire Sail, Flame Geyser, and Arcane Artificer. Great changes for Mage, especially this card. Big fan. It's weird Mage not having Flame Strike though. Paladin losing Rag, Light Lord, Reckoning, Elder Peacekeeper, Avenger, Double Sacrifice for Hloraxian, Muster for Battle. Oh my god. Hammer of Wrath at three mana. Damn. Hand of a Doll. Great. Ch actually, huge. They didn't put the, the one mana 1 1 guy from Forge of the Barons, the, uh, the dude that draws a holy spell. I'm really surprised. But I understand why they didn't. Priest is getting a huge change. What the hell? Merzon's gone. Lyra's gone. Chaplin, Focus Will, Power Infusion. Thank God this card's gone. I don't know why they didn't mention this in the court in the video, but uh huge deal. This card is super, super, super toxic for the game. No extra cleric is gone. So Katrina's in. Dark dude, Benedictus is staying. Oh man, Shadow Priest is still alive. They did? I must have been blind. Uh Mana Geode is fine. Crimson Clergy. I'm blind then. I'm blind. Okay, I'm sorry. Shout out to Cora for being awesome. Shard Naru is staying in too. Really well done. For the core set for priest, big change, huge change, actually, dude. All right, I better see Shadow Step on here. I'm not, I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at the other side of the chat. Vanessa Van Cleef, Sprint, Assassin's Blade, Sinister Strike, Tomb Pillager, Plague Scientist, and Cold Blood. Um, they, yeah, they must have made a misprint, right, guys? They made a misprint, right? There should be, there should be a uh, Shadow Step right here. Hanar's in, Minstrel's in, Ambush is in, Plagiarize is in, Cheat Death and Fanonize for two mana and a mystery. Oh man, Rogue is gonna be so annoying this expansion or this this year. Damn it, bro, damn it. Craig was gone, Mana Titanum's gone. Wow, Shaman Draw F. Maelstrom Portal's gone, Tidal Surge is gone, and Rock Better Weapon for Grand Totem Eyesore, Overdraft, Thing from Below, Ancestral Knowledge and Zap. Huge changes. Shaman's gonna be turbo nuts. Turbo, turbo nuts. Let's go, dude. Okay, Warlock, we saw Warlock. Um, all these Warlock cards were garbage. Warlock had such a bad core set. So a huge deal. All these cards were trash. 
Void Caller being in the set is such a big deal because we have Enhanced Dreadlord and we have Melganis with Defile and Spirit Bomb. Love those changes. Warrior is losing Crowley, Gorehal, Shield Maiden, Armor Smith, really? Bloodhoof Brave, Fiery War Axe, and Bloodsail Deckhan. So Armagadillo, Blade Storm, Dynomatic, Sword Eater, Heavy Plate, Frightened Flunky, and Woodcutter's Axe. Dude, why not just make Fiery War Axe two mana? What is the problem with this change? What is the pro what like just remove this card? This card's not seeing play. And just put this card at two mana. I don't understand. I'll never understand it. Oh my god, so many changes. Holy shit. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna just look at the the, the noticeable changes here. Mossy Horror is leaving is kind of a big deal. Cidic Swamp who's leaving is a big deal. Interesting. Mistress of Mixture is a big deal. God, okay. Uh, I'm assuming that they're gonna put the other weapon tech in the game, right? So Reg is being added. I think Dr. Boom's unplayable still, but we'll have to wait and see. Zilliac's being added is huge. The Black Knight's cool at four mana. Death Knight's aw or Dirty Rat's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I don't know about this card. This card was super frustrating to play against, but I guess it's fine. Armor Vendor staying in, or I guess being rotated in instead of Mystrix, which is fine. War Gear is a six five instead of a five five. Rotten Apple Bomb. They should just restore five health with this. Okay, so the Silence is in. That's good. Dread Corsair being in. Okay. Uh, Henchclan Thug's fine. Bronze Gatekeeper's fine. All right, so they added, um. Weapon tech still, which is a big deal. Glacial Shard's good. Mermie's fine. Tour Guide's fine. Slow Flipper Penguin instead of Murloc Tinyfin. F. Which side are you guys on? Which side are you guys on? All right. Uh, did I miss anything for this? Returning to core, new to core. Okay, we saw this. We don't need to see that. Okay. Um, is that everything? Well, chat, that's the core set. Uh, in case you don't know this, uh, the core set is free. You get the core set for the entire year. If a card is gone from the core set you no longer own the card it's like a borrowed card i think uh overall it looks pretty good i can't believe they didn't um remove shadow stuff from the core set i'm actually baffled i still can't believe it i <laughs> um this is my last hearthstone video so thanks for watching